Alright, this is my incubator that I built. Made it out of plywood. And wired it. I got the uh, water heater elements inside of it for the heating elements. And I ordered a hygrometer and thermometer. You can see it. If I get up here where you can see it. There's the hygrometer thermometer. It's got a little bit of got a hundred degrees and sixty percent humidity. Also wired in an egg turner. Hadn't hatched anything in it yet, but I'm fixing to try it. This is a homemade incubator I made because I didn't want to pay five hundred dollars for an incubator. I made it out of plywood. Got window latches here and here for the latches. And I took a wafer thermostat, wired it in at the top, put the light in, took a fan out of a refrigerator, the evaporator fan out of the top part of the refrigerator for my forced air in the back and I have it circulating so far. It looks like it's going to be doing good. I got the right amount of moisture. I got a little moisture on my door, if you can see. But I'm holding 100 degrees at 60% humidity. Been holding this for about three days now, so everything looks good. Got plexiglass of glass in the front for the window. I would open it up and show you the inside, but I'm not going to do it because it lets all the moisture out. But I used two water heater elements, and I used a uh, 120 volt coil contactor from an air conditioning unit to reduce my voltage. So it would be putting so much voltage on my thermostat. And when it kicks on, you can see the light kicked on. Shows you that you are heating, and then it'll kick back off the light goes off. It should kick off any second. Alright, it's off. Alright. So I'm gonna see how it does. That's my turner, automatic turner. I wired it into the contact so it's always turning on the hot side. Uh, on the contact side, 